Greetings everyone, this is Devar with Carob Sensations, back with another recipe. What I wanted to do today was show you guys a pasta dish that you can make at home. In Jamaica, we call this Rasta Pasta. What we're going to do is show you that you can capture those same flavors that you have in the regular Rasta Pasta dish that people do. However, you can have a plant-based version of it. And this is more to serve as a bridge over those dairy waters, so to speak. Now, I had a lot of fun making this and I really want to show you guys how to do this yourself at home and I want you to tell me what you think. With this Rasta Pasta, what you have is the green, gold, and red colors of the bell peppers and scallion and you also have the spice of the jerk seasoning. You mix that all together, cook that down with some coconut milk and you have a pasta to die for. And I cannot wait to share with you guys. I hope you enjoy. Let's go. All right, we have all of your ingredients listed here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna list everything below, including the measurements. So just go ahead and reference that. You cook your pasta first. What I'm using is the ancient grain pasta. What I do is I add my oil to the pot. What I used in this one is coconut oil. Now we're gonna add our thyme, onions, shallots, scallion to the pot. We're gonna mix that up. And then we throw our tomatoes in there. Now we just let that cook up and we wait till the onions are a little bit translucent. And then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our bell peppers in. So we throw all of our bell peppers in here. Now what you wanna do is turn the heat down to medium low and then you kinda of saute this and just let this cook. And depending on how you want your bell peppers to be, you will cook them a little longer or cook them a little shorter. What I did was I added the jerk sauce as well. So I'm just gonna mix that all together. And it really depends on you at this point. If you like your bell peppers crunchy, you don't have to cook them long. But if you want them soft, you have to cook them a little longer. So we're just gonna go ahead and mix this all together. Now we're gonna throw about a handful of sea moss in with our coconut milk. We're gonna go ahead and blend that up because what this is gonna do is help thicken up this recipe. But if you look here, our, our sea moss and coconut milk is all blended up. So now we're ready to move on to the next step. The Dea brand cheese is a plant-based cheese and they have mozzarella and they have cheddar and those are the main ones that we use for this dish. Pour on our sea moss and coconut milk mixture. Now we give this a nice stir and you're gonna see the heat start to melt all of this together. And once it starts to melt, you're gonna notice it's gonna get thicker as we go. So we're just gonna keep on processing this, turning and turning, and you're gonna see how beautiful it looks. Right now, it smells amazing. And you just keep on mixing it. As you can see, it's getting thicker as we speak and the cheese is starting to melt. Daya cheese and coconut milk will create a nice melting cheese for any recipe that you have. So now we add our pasta into the mix. I'm gonna just put some parsley on the top. Now these noodles are made of quinoa, amaranth, millet, and a few other flours, but this pasta is not gluten-free. I just wanna make a note of that. If you want gluten-free, you can choose a gluten-free pasta to add to this, but I'm gonna stick with the ancient grain pasta that I have here, and I'm just gonna keep on mixing it as we speak, and what I do is I take a little bit out and I test it. Now, after testing it, if the jerk seasoning is not up to par or to my liking, that's when I would add a little bit more in there, which I'm gonna do now. So you add the jerk seasoning in there and you mix it up, mix it up. A 
looks like we're gonna add a little bit more. We like it spicy in our house, so we're gonna go ahead and add four. However, what I would recommend is that you follow the recipe, and then from there, if you decide to add some more, you can go ahead and do so based on your taste. Some people don't like it spicy, some people do. So it really depends on you, it's your choice. All right guys, we are all done. A fully plant-based version of Rasta Pasta. And this is the moment, like I always say, that I look forward to, which is the taste test. Get me one of these green peppers and get everything in there and I'm going in. Yep, this is the one. This is it right here. If I don't make any more videos for the rest of the year, you guys are gonna be eating this one. Now, careful with the jerk sauce. We like things spicy in our house. Maybe go with one tablespoon. I know the recipe calls for two. We ended up putting four, but make sure you just gauge your tolerance with that or get the mild jerk sauce you know if you want to you can check out our video on how to make a jerk sauce you can use that or if you don't have time or you don't have access to that go in your local store but just make sure you read the ingredients anything that you can't just read and recognize I wouldn't recommend going for it but there's plenty of options out there so you should be fine but guys this tastes really good and this is this is one of those meals for those like I said you want to do a plant-based diet but it's just very hard for you to let go of the cheese now what we're trying to do is show you that there are so many options out there those are for the people that are trying to transition into a plant-based lifestyle however for the people who are not really interested in a plant-based lifestyle but you just want something different or a healthier alternative, I suggest you guys try it too because I guarantee that you're going to like it. Now, with that being said guys, if you like this video, do me a favor and give this a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time for our next video. Peace and love.